my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the grave. And welcome to Leary Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Lynch and McGuanago, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supplies, Burger Smokehouse, Delco, Vexlar, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commick Law Firms, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Outdoors. Holy moly. tell you one thing I love about this easy loader trailer just like it says easy load that even in the shallow water how easily that boat comes off of that bunk trailer darn geese I'm telling you <laughs> look at all these geese look at all that mess look at it all I'm telling you we need to have an earlier early goose season to get rid of some of these geese. I'm gonna have a talk with the governor. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. This morning we are up on Lake Koshkanon and I don't know if you guys remember or not but this spring we were here fishing the Rock River and caught a ton of fish and when we're with our good friend Adam Walton and I don't know if you remember last winter he was the one that talked me in to jumping in through the ice right there so you're not going to talk me into anything crazy today are you we might jump in today it's supposed to be a heat index of 98 a well little, that's a different little story bit different, I'm yeah. jump in then Let's see what happens hey Adam you know what, you guide up on this system here. Tell me why are we here and what's going on? I know these systems, just like Winnebago system cycles come up and down. Some years you get three or four really good years in a row, a lot of nice eating fish, and then all of a sudden, you know, the fish are caught out and then you gotta wait again. Correct. Yeah, you know, Kashkana, it's, it's no different. It's, it's just like a, a smaller Poygan system, really. It's a, yeah. it's a river system, runs right through it. It's a shallow lake, okay. uh, 10,000 plus acres. Uh, average depth of five foot, max depth of seven, uh, assuming the water's at normal levels. Right. Uh, it, but it's a fantastic fishery, it really is. It's, um, it's stocked um, not only by the DNR, but the Bark River Fish Hatchery Organization. Okay. Uh, up on uh, the Rock River, kind of by where you guys did your show at. Sure, yep. Good people they, uh, up there. Yeah, they are. They're excellent people. Um, it's privately funded. The DNR operates it, but it's privately funded. And uh, they stock this system every year with, with uh, walleye fry. This year they put 3.5 million fry in the Holy system. Holy shit. Um, you know, there's a lot of factors with survival rate and generally 2% uh, is what makes it to adulthood. So, right. you know, you're looking at like 70 some thousand if my numbers are right. Um, you know, still, still pretty good numbers. And, uh, you know, it keeps this fishery sustained. Okay. But you still see that, that cyclic behavior where it goes up and down. Now there's just a, 15 inch size limit on these fish here, right? Correct, right now it's 15 inch size limit. Um, you know, the, we'll, we'll see what happens in the future, but there's there's some debate whether that should change or not. And you know, it is it is what it is, so. Yeah, uh, I'm a huge believer in slots. Yeah. But you know, I know that the, you know there's a lot of people that will disagree with it, but I just can tell you from my own experience that it's nice to see slots because it does protect the mature fish. And you know, they always say like, 
18 to 24 inches are the most productive fish in the system. So I'm always big on maybe one fish over into that slot. You right, know? and you know what we do in our in our guide service, this is our policy, uh, it says right on our website, any walleye is 18 inches or over gets released. Okay. Um, if it's a trophy fish over 25, we can talk about maybe um, amount, but we prefer, you know, replica or something like that. Sure. Uh, and the same with pike, any pike over 30 inches, um, also released. So that 26 is a minimum out here. Okay. So if you want to keep Statewide, that's, yeah, yeah except so, for some exceptions. Yeah, right. right. Um, you know, so it's, it's our policy to release some of the bigger fish uh, for that reason, you know, those are our breeders. Koshkanon in, in, in general is not a very good natural spawning. Now, yes, there's some years where it does succeed very well, but overall, uh, if you look at the, the numbers in the DNR reports, this, this, the natural spawn is very up and down, which coincides with the cyclic behavior. Okay. So, you know, if we, the theory is, you know, if we can stabilize those numbers and keep them uh, more consistently high, uh, how you do that, that's debatable, but uh, you know this fishery could be more if if uh, if we really wanted it to be. The, the forage base out here, the DNR reports is, is phenomenal. Fantastic. You know well, they got white bass, perch, uh, the, the flies out here, the river shiners. There's just an abundant supply of those fish out here for these walleyes to grow. So if we want them to grow, they can. Well, let's go catch some let's of these. Now today we're going to be trolling, right? We're going to do some trolling. Yep. Start uh, off. That way start at least. off, and, and we'll see how it goes. But yeah. Hey. One last thing before I kick this Evan Roo down and we start taking off here. We've got three very, very important guests on our show today. And we why do. don't you introduce everybody to who we're fishing with? Absolutely. My buddy, uh, Jason Dascom back here in the boat. These are his sons. Yep. I, I work with Jason on the uh, fire department. Uh, this is Braden. Braden. This is Nathan. And this is Owen. So Owen. I'll tell you what. There's no way that we're not going to catch a bunch of fish, you know? Well, and I hope. Here's, here's the future of fishing. Right. right here. They, so. They're a little tired this morning. They got up at 5 o'clock, but I think, I think we're going to get some bigger smiles on their faces here, aren't we, boys? I'll guarantee you one thing. In, once we get them lines out, I'm going to give them kids a couple of sun drops. They'll, we'll be, they'll, be, they'll we'll, be ready to roll. We'll get them jacked up. All right, let's take off. Hey, stay tuned. Let's see what happens today up here on Kochkanon. Creating a fishing boat that delivers unsurpassed fishability, speed, and performance on the water is achieved through an ongoing commitment to quality and a driving passion for making great boats even better. You'll see this commitment to quality and a passion for building the fisherman's boat in every Warrior Boat model you see on the water. For additional information on Warrior Boat's new V208, check out their website at warriorboatsinc.com or visit your local Warrior Boats dealer to schedule a test drive and see for yourself why no fishing boat on the market offers a smoother, drier ride, more interior cockpit space, more storage, more room to fish big water in complete comfort and safety than the V208 from Warrior Boats. Dalco, far and away the nation's leading boat cover manufacturer, precisely fit for a large variety of OEM makes and models. Dalco premium covers are the boating equivalent of a hand-tailored suit. Not only are Dalco covers the best fitting and best quality, they include unique features like our polis cover lift system and ratchet attachment system, making them the easiest and fastest covers to install and remove. Visit DalcoMarine.com for more information on how to order. Use promo code LARRY10 to receive a 10% discount today. Burger Smokehouse, your handcrafted smoked meat headquarters since 1952. Our dry rub recipes, aging process, and natural hardwood smoking come together to create bold, satisfying flavors that we are proud to stand behind. Whether it's summer sausage, hearty sportsman's cut bacon, or dry rub barbecue ribs, we are your source for top-notch hardwood smoked meats that you'll be proud to serve family and friends. Visit us online at smokehouse.com or look us up at your local grocery store. Basically what we're looking for is, we're pretty much looking for that six foot break right there. Yeah, yeah right around there. Hang right on that. And even like mid fives, because your transducer's going to be yep. offset a little bit, so we're, we're pretty close here. Okay, I got it right about there. 
going to put the trolling motor down. And game on, boys. Remember, first legal fish in the boat, sun drop. How far back? Um, on these salmos, about, yep. about 10 to 15. That's it? Yeah. And on the Cordells, we're doing about 20. Okay. Well, the first thing I always do, because some of these lures get knocked around by these big pike, and the first thing I do is let out about two feet and just make sure just that make sure that bait's working. Running true, yep. Okay. And then, and then let her go. Hey, guess what? Whose side is it on? Who's getting the first one? Yes! Right away, Here you go. I'll tell you what. That did not take more than five minutes after we got the boards out. Oh, come on. What is, is that it? how we want to start the show? <laughs> A sheephead? Yes! Man. <laughs> this is poignant. Right? One sheep said down. No more to go. No more to go, that's right. Here we go. Oh, there's one. The bigger one there. That's a nice fish. Here we go, boys. On my side, just so you guys know. Who's up, Owen? Ooh, Owen. You ready, buddy? Here, I'll take that one. I'll, I'll get that one out of your way. That one I put up higher, too. Yeah. Who's, that's a, who's up, boys? Come on, guys. OK, let's go. No arguing, no fighting. <laughs> Come on. Let's oh, no. go. He wanted my side too. Everybody wanted my side. How much did you guys pay Adam to take to have you guys come along today? Or is he paying you? Paying I think them. he's probably paying you guys. Oh, wait, here oh. We go. you were slow with the net, Adam. Yeah, I see that. Hey, and I'll tell you what, now that is a nice walleye. What, 17, 18 incher? And Nice fish. Are you going to hold this one up? Yes, indeed. Nice job. Hey, hey, guys, guess what? Whose side is it on? Oh, it's on my side again. Right, I love it when it's on my side. I'll pick this one. Yep. It's a walleye. See, we were talking too much. We have a collision, folks. What would you call this in, if this happened during the on your uh, firefighters? Right? Uh, yeah, a plane on board accident. <laughs> All right, hold up right there. I'm gonna get if two fire trucks collided, ooh, that's a nice fish, too. Yeah, yeah the, your class is a walleye in here. Like I said, this is uh, a pretty good. Um, year class, which is from 2013. They okay. Really, really big numbers um, that year. They had a, a good natural spawn, which isn't isn't normal, but they did that year, and a good stocking and a good surviving rate. So a lot of those fish right now are about that 15 to 17 inch range. Which is perfect. Now, right. what is the limit out here? We're 15 talking 15 inches. Fit, there's no slot. It's a not, 15 inch size no, limit. Not okay. As, as now. Five fish. Yep. You gonna hold it quick? We get them back in tomorrow. We're letting all our fish go today, which is, yep. is nice. We're out here to so try to get uh, these kids hooked on there fishing, and uh, which I think their dad already did a pretty good job of that. Yeah, he, <laughs> he fishes quite a bit. And you know, I have this funny thing, you guys, is that I heard before, I was wondering why these kids are so well behaved. Their mother's a school teacher That's too, right. right? Correct. Wow. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today.
Wings Over Wisconsin, a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. I'm Mark Green. I'm Patrick Lynch. Welcome to our all new Lynch McQuanago dealership. The brand new Lynch McGuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre-owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. Introducing the next generation of Sonar. Sonar Phone by Vexlar, the world's first smart device sonar. Download the free app. Try the demo feature and see why Sonar Phone will rival the performance of Sonar systems costing hundreds more. The Sonar Phone does not require cell phone coverage. You create your own Wi-Fi hotspot and can share with your friends. Download the free app today. And for a limited time, with any purchase of a Sonar Phone, you get a free smartphone armband. That's the Sonar Phone by Vexlar. Oh, there you go. Yep. No, no we we're just making the turn, up. and that fish hit on the turn. He should be able to bring that right across. If I keep turning, yep. he should be able to bring that fish right across the other two lines. Keep reeling, buddy. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. He's doing pretty good, I'll tell you that. So far, he's got the biggest walleye in the boat. Biggest, right? Biggest white bass, too. Biggest white bass? Yeah. See that darting? Oh, I see her down there, right? Keep reeling. And rumor is he's got the most girlfriends. <laughs> I don't have girlfriends. What? That's not what I was told, right? All right. Nice. They have teeth. Nope. Nope. They don't have teeth. You can hold that one up as soon as he gets the crankbait out of his mouth. And what do you hold mean that. you don't have any girlfriends? You told me you had four girlfriends. Did. You didn't? Huh? Well, it's your brother that said that. Oh, you're doing good. Good job, buddy. Like a champ. Nice fish. <laughs> we got a rooster in the boat. Hey, I'll tell you what, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends over at Mike's Country Meats up in Tigerton, finest jerky on the planet. Hey, Adam, what's the tip of the week gonna be so I can break open the jerky? Because you know what, unfortunately, I don't know how I did it. I only brought one bag, and these guys are like licking their chops. Oh, yeah. So let's get on with this tip of the week. Well, what I like to do, and you know, everybody has their own opinions on this, but I'm a, uh, I'm a big scared. Uh, <laughs> right, right. I'm a big fan of uh, of keeping our baits, uh, especially live bait, keeping a scent off them, our human right. touch as much as possible. So you know, being out in the sun, as much as uh, anglers are. It's it's key to use sunscreen, and no, I see, you see guys you know lathering up all the time. Well, the thing with sunscreen is it sticks on your hands. You know you try to get any bit off, it, it's still waterproof stuff. It's, it's going to stay there. So anytime you touch your bait afterwards, it's still there, and that little bit of scent can make a difference. It is. They're saying sunscreen is one of the worst things to get on any kind of live bait or or artificials as far as right. a deterrent. So. And it'll stay, you know, on artificials too. It'll stay there longer than, you know, maybe not the same day. It might be in there next time you go out. So I uh, get some latex gloves or latex free gloves, whatever you like. Yep. And then I just spray my hand up or that's a great idea. Cream up or whatever you want to do and flather up. Okay, I want to you want to try that? Right. Let's break this stuff open. Cause it's gonna, you know what? My philosophy is we eat fishy. So when we were eating before, we were catching fish. Let's get back to it. Oh, fish are ready on the outside. <laughs> See, that's all it took oh. just to break it open. Why didn't we do this five minutes ago? Oh, that's a nicer fish. Got that board all the way back. So I think the deal is that when it's time to go swimming, today, because these guys are fighting, I'm faster, he's faster. We are gonna have a contest. Who can swim 
out to the planer board. We'll wheel a planer board out there. Who can swim out there fast? Throw cushion. A throw cushion. Throw, That's throw a cushion. Great idea. Whoever can get the throw cushion first will win the argument. Right. And you know what they'll win? They'll win another pack of Mike's Country Meats. There you go. Hey, can I play? Oh, <laughs> another species of the day. Crappie? Big crappie. Let's see if we can get this one in the boat. That's a nice fish. Hang on a second. Up here, yeah, what happened here? You, right away, you touched my side. Hang on. Hang Ooh, on. That's a nice crappie, and I'll tell you what, he was not hooked very much at all. Look at it. Back on Steve Schaefer in the kitchen with Man from Thailand. He's in my house for three weeks, foreign exchange student. Say hi, man. Hi, I'm Man. I'm from Thailand, according to what he said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are we making today? Okay, today we're doing Thai spicy corn salad. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yesterday I boiled the corn on the cob. I chopped it off because he wanted it cold. So I took it off the cob. Yeah, and I have like garlic around here. Garlic? Yeah, is that how you yeah. say that? Yeah. Okay, good. How many times did I kick you out of my house so far? Every day? Yeah, every day. <laughs> Okay, chop the tomatoes in half? Yeah. Okay. That's and all you need to do. I know, I'm, I'm following your rules. <laughs> and you also cut like the chili pepper. Okay, so we yeah. got tomatoes, chili pepper, yep. long beans, cucumbers, garlic, mm -hmm. uh, oyster. Lime. Lime juice. Juice, uh, water, and the coconut prime sugar. Yeah, whatever, however you say that, yeah. Yep. Prime sugar. All right, so I got tomatoes cut and chili, you cut up real small. Yeah. Okay. So actually, this this food is very very easy. Yeah. You just uh, mix everything up, and you can design your taste. Yeah. If you want spicy, you just put more chili pepper. If you want more sour, you just put a lot of lime juice. It's so easy. You can do it. I'm 17 years old. And I can do it. <laughs> So, as you can see, it's very fast to do it, and... You're almost done? Oh, one jumped out. Just put it, yeah, put it put in. It it's it's yeah. five second rule, heck yeah. You, you didn't see it, right? <laughs> the camera didn't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay. Okay. right now, it's time for you to just design the taste on the bowl. So we just try to eat it. Okay, let's see how you guys eat at home, uh, right? You, you use the spoon and take the fork and shove the food onto the spoon, right? Don't you ever double dip with that spoon in my drink. <laughs> so here is the food. Hold on, man. No, I want them to see it. I'll hold, you show the people from the United States how people in Thailand use the fork. Oh, on a spoon. yeah. That's mm -hmm. how. Yeah, so it just. Okay, watch it's this, just... folks. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, right, no. it's okay. just nothing. Did we get no tomatoes? You better start eating vegetables. I'm going to call your mom. There you go. <laughs> there, see how they do that, folks? They take the. Fork, put it on the spoon. Is yeah. it good? Mm. Just like you make it at home. If mm -hmm. you go back in or you're in trouble. <laughs> here, I'll help you out. I'll help you out because I know it's bothering you. Here, here, here's what we do in America. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass too and won't bend or dull, and reflects fish attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you make less casts, because the fish come to you. Rip it or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon or trout, and experience multi-species action with just one bait. For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply. We want to be your outdoor supplier.
arm tire yet? <laughs> yeah, this is fun. Are you getting hot? Here. <laughs> cool you down a little cool bit. Cool the reels off. Get the net. Oh, there's a nice pike. Okay, you got him at stop? Yep, keep reeling, keep reeling. I got you. Right, there you go. Nice and easy. So keep reeling. Nice job. All right, good job. I'll tell you that, nice job. Wow. Board, bigger fish. There we go. This could be the. That's a nice fish. That's got the boat. That's got it buried. That's not a fish on that one. You want that one? Yeah. You want that one? The one I have in my hand right here. That's a nice fish. There you go. Nice job. Hey, did you guys have fun today so far? Let's get okay, one more fish and let's go swimming. Adam, one of my favorite things about filming this TV show is that all the great places that we get to fish now that I would have never fished before, but even more than that is all the awesome people that I get to meet, like these boys. I'll tell you that, guys, you did a great job today in the boat. You guys were well behaved, and I'll tell you, your dad did a great job raising you. And you know, I heard a little something that your mom's a school teacher, so I'm sure there's a little influence in that too. Hey, I'll tell you what, Adam, thank you. Thank you, boys. And Jason, thank you. Hey, and you know what? How can people get a hold of you if they want to come out and experience some of the great guiding that you do? Sure, you can find us online at www.pikepolefishing.com or find us on Facebook at Pike Pole Fishing Guide Service. And our number is 608-290-3929. Give us a call. Uh, we're going to do a special too. Anybody who books a full day guided trip for the rest of the open water season will get a two year free subscription to Badger Sportsman Magazine. Compliments that, of Pike Pole Fishing. That's awesome. That's one of our big sponsors. That's, we appreciate that for sure. Hey, Jason, thank you. Thank you. You know, guys, I appreciate that. I think you guys are going to go back out swimming, aren't you? Just remember, like I always say, what a great day to be alive. We got snacks. What do you want? Oh, and we got more sun drop. Hold oh, on. Hold oh, on. Hey, I got more jerky too. Some more. Yeah, we don't chomp chomp. We say buggy thing with them alligator. Why are you so tight? Well, that's how we wear it down here on the swamp land. <laughs>